The stadium shakes to the thunder of the fireworks. What a way to start this spectacular night. these large inflatable creatures of course maneuvered by people down on the ground giving them a personality of their own and moving them around the stadium i can see personality in that fish it is a truly magnificent sight Bound to be a little quiet as of tomorrow. But Homebush Bay, the scene of these triumphal Olympics and Paralympics will live on in the memories of Sydney siders, Australians, and I'm sure people around the world for a long, long time. And so our attention switches now to some of Australia's leading aerialists performing off that 12 metre high truss built on the main stage. The aerialists have been choreographed and they're part of the flying fruit fly circus. There's been so many fantastic highlights and memorable moments that I don't think anyone will forget. And the moments that all the Visitors from other countries will take home as well. I think the athletes have been delighted and probably surprised by the level of hospitality, the level of service and friendliness that's been provided right throughout the Olympics and Paralympic Games. And everyone from Sydney Siders to people from other countries have had a wonderful time. World to our 11th. Paralympic Summer Games, Sydney 2000. It came as a sheer delight, but at no surprise that you excelled yourselves in hosting our Paralympic athletes to an absolutely outstanding event. We have been the recipients of gracious hospitality, generosity, kindness, and exuberance. We cannot tell you how grateful we are. Thank you with all of your heart. Sydney Siders, you have venues and facilities that will provide endless opportunities for all your citizens for all time. But you now have far more than those tangible legacies you can take enormous pride in going far beyond to the forging of special relationships that will live with you forever, to creating the spirit of volunteerism, which combines tolerance, understanding, goodwill, hope, and unity. That is Paralympianism at its finest. You can take pride in your community, this is immeasurable and priceless. Your experiences will remain with you forever. We know that all of the 15,000 wonderful volunteers have sacrificed time with family, business and jobs to exhibit to the world your passion, enthusiasm, commitment, spirit, and kindness. We thank each and every one of you right from the bottom of our hearts. And I want to make a very, very special recognition of the involvement of Australian youth and school children, 400,000 of them from every state and territory. You will see that this in the future is your most significant legacy for all people with a disability in the world. Thank you, Australia, for enhancing the profile of our athletes. 
more than at any time in our history. Over four million Australians witnessed the opening ceremony on ABC television. Never could we or our athletes have anticipated the scope of television coverage that Australia provided. Both opening and closing ceremonies were sold out and more than 1.2 million tickets sold throughout the Games. Another record achieved for our Paralympic athletes. Our athletes have been provided with the perfect environment for unequaled athletic achievements. Athletes, you provided the excitement and commitment to excellence in the spirit of fair play. You are the true ambassadors for your sport and for your countries, and you are exceptional role models for future Paralympians. You, our summer athletes, have all achieved heights thought to be possible only in your dreams. We are here tonight to congratulate each and every one of you, not only for providing us with the excitement and the thrill of elite competition, but for demonstrating the true meaning of Paralympism. I would like to impress upon you these words, believe in yourself, and never ever underestimate the power of the human spirit. On this late October evening, I can feel your passion and know that you have already begun to set your next goal. This unforgettable Australian experience must unfortunately come to a close. But first, I want to recognize and thank Dr. John Grant, who has contributed more than 30 years of service to disability sport, both in Australia and worldwide. For Dr. Grant's leadership for these games, we are honored to present him with our Paralympic Gold Order and our heartfelt thanks. My dear friends of Sydney and all of Australia, it is an honor and a privilege for me to add my message along that of President Juan Antonio Samaranch of the International Olympic Committee. I hereby announce to you and to the world that the 11th Paralympic Summer Games were the best ever. until our athletes gather again in Athens, Greece in the year 2004 to celebrate with us the 12th Paralympic Summer Games. It is with personal sadness but great, great pride that I hereby declare the 11th Paralympic Summer Games of Sydney closed. Seekers first performing in the early 1960s, now performing for the first time since 1998. Thank you and good night. See you in Athens.